Hey y'all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, I am trimming my hair. This was actually filmed October 4th. Um, here is my hair before I got it cut, and then this is in July, July, or no, June 6th. I initially had my hair cut in, in May uh, of 2022, May 12th of 2022, to cut my hair to donate for Wigs for Kids, where we sectioned off the top of my hair and then shaved the underside of it so that I could donate as much hair as possible. And so here are just some haircut views um, from like before and then at least one picture from every month leading up till October. It is currently January 3rd when I am filming this part of it and editing it um, and there's you know Jason and I banter back and forth while um, I am cutting my hair and some of it you can see some of it you can't see just because of where the camera was trying to have him hold the mirror and whatnot so I could see what I was doing behind me to cut my own hair and for those that don't know I am a retired cosmetologist I used to do hair for a living um, those are a pair of titanium um, titanium shears from the brand from which is a German brand um, if I ever need my shears sharpened I have to mail them back to Germany to get them sharpened um, I have owned from shears since 1997 I swear by them I've had multiple pairs I had my initial starter pair that I think I paid 50 bucks or was it 100 bucks for them and they were amazing and the handle kind of like broke in half and I mailed them back to from because they had um, an amazing warranty on them and they mailed me a pair that was very similar to them and then this pair I bought um, and I like the four inch shears but anyways um, these are German hair cutting scissors that I really really love um, I still have them these are um, different than normal shears so you can't take them to a regular sharpener to have them done because the blade is technically serrated so Anyways, I'm going to let you guys watch. You get to hear Jason and I banter during this. It's actually not that long for me to cut um, my hair and I will try and record a separate like version of what it looks like now as January 3rd and I will see you guys at the end of this with more up-to-date photos and a little short video clip. Okay, so because I have a really high hairline and my hair hasn't been cut since uh, she did my hair. It goes to show you how long my hair is. I want all this shit off my neck. And then what you're going to do is clean up like the feathers and stuff that I have down here. That's what the little guy is for. And because I have a funny spot in the back of my neck because I have a very severe M back here. It's going to pop up my hair differently in different spots due mm -hmm. to growth pattern. Now, before I take the top down, I need you to run over this stuff for me. Mm -hmm. Really quick. Just a few you just... Nope, you need to get these over here. Oh, I have to put my yarn. Or just... You just clean up the neckline. Okay. 
It feels good. All right, now. Now for the top, because this stuff is driving me nuts. Since my hair can be parted pretty much any different direction, I want to be able to cut it evenly. Maybe I just have to hold for a second. Mm -hmm. Take a smaller section. I'm gonna be getting a shower here next. I need to take a break from my brain. I'm just basically nipping off the ends. Ow, on my finger. What well, ends of your finger? Uh, well, it got in the way as I was closing my shears. I have more hair on the other side than this side. I need to start sleeping on this side of my head more.
And see now as it grows in, it'll look a little bit better mm -hmm. than having all the shaggy bits on my neckline. So this is more or less a basically a stacked bob, mm -hmm. almost an A-line bob because it's still shorter in the back. Actually, probably. All right, I need you to come here and hold it here. That's actually pretty even. That's mm, one even. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out which direction to go on the mirror. That's always the hardest part. Yep. All right, eight, eight, eight. He's staring at the wall. Sir, are you okay? Do you need need some help? Yeah, listen, he has something outside the window. I hear him. I can't tell why though. It's grown in pretty good, so I shouldn't have to miss any of that stuff. But I figured she cut my hair in what May. It's the first time I've actually put scissors to my hair since then. But it's, it's a lot longer. But with a little bit of help, I can always do my own. Ta-da! Nice. And now I don't look so shaggy and that stuff on my neck's not going to piss me off anymore. I mean, it will only about two weeks, but... What do you think? Good. I like it. Alright, now you get to play cameraman for a second. This is actually, for people that don't want to fuss with their hair and actually have pretty good volume in their hair, this is probably the easiest haircut for them ever. They might call it the manager haircut or the Becky haircut or whatever, but it kind of is. You just kind of blow it dry with a little bit of a round brush at the bottom to curl it under, and then you're done. And it stays, and you can flip it back and forth, you can wear it in the middle part, and depending on how it's cut. And then I stacked the stacked the bottom just a little bit. So
Hey all, I finally got around to editing the video that I recorded in here of me actually um, cutting my hair. So I wanna show you where it's at lengthwise right now. It's been up and down, I need to get a shower, but just to show you the length of it, this is what was literally shaved down to the scalp May 12th. I want to cut all this off so that everything's all in length, but let me put you down here for a second so I can pull this out. My hair's been in that ponytail like that for over an hour, and I was like, man, I really got to get this filmed. So here we are lengthwise right now. And I usually flip my hair one side to the other. So this is all the long stuff. And then there's the rest of the short. So you can see my hair is finally down almost to my shoulder. I want to cut the back again like I did in October to like level everything out because it keeps like flipping up back here because the hair underneath is longer, which then in turn causes hair to flip out. So I said in the video that I would, as I was um, editing it, that I would put in a clip of, you know, my hair as it is now. This is being filmed on January 3rd of 2023. So it's been several months since I had my hair cut. And because I have super thick hair, I usually, I can, here's another thing people ask, can I pull it back? So I can pull it back. Make sure that you guys can see me in here. But what I can't stand are these things that fall over my ears because I feel like they're like dog, dog ears. They drive me insane. So I tuck them behind my ear. But then there's this one piece over here that likes to stick out. And my earrings, um, I still have my earring out from when I had some magnetic imaging done. Was it last week? Week before last? I need to put it back in. I took all my jewelry out. So this is all that is left that doesn't get pulled up here. Now, if I pull my hair I get most of it. So I have a little bit here and of course a little flappy dog ear things that don't quite make it back there. They're almost long enough. They're like another half an inch away from being up. And then this stuff is what I wanted to cut anyways because I have a low, a low hairline. And I have a very defined M on the back of my neck. So this is where I'm at right now. Um, yes, I've been wearing my hair up a lot, which is why there's all these weird bumps and stuff in it because you know, it's, this is the second day here. And, um, it's a, you know, I need to get a shower before I go to work, but I figured I would get this film so I could finish that video. I'm going to make sure that I have at least two videos going up every week. Um, cause I know I have those Saturday videos going up until like March. So, and those are already completely done and scheduled and whatnot. So I'm trying to make sure that I have at least two uploads a week. Um, working this new job. I pick my hours, but I'm working at least 30 hours a week. And then I start a new job, a second job on February 2nd. So that's also going to be um, I where I pick my hours. So I'm going to be working two jobs so that we can pay our bills. So 
And there's that. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Hopefully you like the update.